What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we're going to talk about is Activision, is Call of Duty dictating your gunfights? Are they dictating your matchmaking? Like, are they just manipulating you? That's basically what I'm probably going to title this video to some degree. And obviously, is Mono for three any exception? So, uh, yeah, if you're interested in the video, uh, hopefully enjoy the gameplay and the commentary today. Uh, gameplay is on Estate, I believe. This is probably my only gameplay on Estate because a lot of people did not vote for that. Thank you, Sledgehammer, for bringing Matt voting back, by the way. Um, goaded feature. No clue what the hell Infinity War was thinking. I don't know if they were tripping on drugs or what back in 2019 and again in 2022. But yeah, thank you for um, bringing something back to Call of Duty that never should have left. Thank you for that. Wow. Great decision making. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, like I said, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. We're close to 10K. I'd really appreciate if we could uh, help get me there. But yeah, let's talk about skill-based matchmaking first. I know everyone talks about SPMM already or engagement optimized matchmaking already. Everyone's made their video on it. Everyone said their piece. It's it is easy views, let's be honest here, but I wanted to obviously talk about this again. I decided to take to chat GPT <laughs> and I go, is skill based matchmaking in Call of Duty? You know, simple question. And, you know, honestly, the answer low key kind of surprised me. Uh, basically, they say, as of my last knowledge update in September 2021, Call of Duty games have implemented various forms of skill based matchmaking in their online multiplayer modes. SVMM is a system that attempts to match players of similar skill levels together in order to create more balanced and competitive matches. This can help ensure that new or lower skilled players aren't constantly matched against high skilled players and vice versa. We kind of know what, what SVMM is at, at this point. If you didn't already, that's basically what it is. It's basically just making sure that, you know, complete noobs, complete like no thumb people don't get completely stomped out by you know top streamers top youtubers every single day because that's not fun for anybody right uh, a lot of you know other games out there have some kind of like elo or matchmaking system it makes a lot of sense in ranked play what a lot of people don't like is how call of duty is supposed to be a casual shooter we all know it's it's not at this point right i mean every single lobby you're in people are bunny hopping drop shotting uh using the best meta weapons you know like it's not that casual anymore uh, but it's supposed to be a casual shooter, right? And then, you know, there's a ranked play for a reason. People are supposed to be playing in ranked play uh, to get their, not camos, but to get their like achievements done, um, you know, trophies if you care about that kind of stuff, different rewards for hitting crimson or iridescent, things like that. However, shockingly enough, even ChatGPT acknowledges and admits that yes, Call of Duty games have implemented various forms of this in their online multiplayer modes. It's you know, it's a kind of a safe answer because we know that SPMM is in ranked play, for instance. But yeah, I mean, they're, you, you don't know if it's in like, you know, whatever game mode it could be in, right? It could be in domination. It could be in hard point. It could be in casual, right? So it's like, yeah, we really don't know. And uh, the next paragraph here, the implementation of SPMM can vary from one Call of Duty title to another and can change over time based on feedback from the community and adjustments made by the game developers. The specifics of how SPMM works, its strength, and the extent to which it impacts matchmaking can also differ from one game to another. So basically saying that, yeah, just because like Mono for 2019 had thick ones, thick SPMM doesn't mean that, you know, the next game is going to have as thick of SPMM. So, you know, we, we kind of knew this, but I thought it was interesting that, you know, ChatGPT acknowledges it. Uh, that's my take on SPMM. That's basically what is happening with SPMM. The other thing I wanted to ask ChatGPT today is about skill-based damage. I see a lot of, you know, clips out there trying to go viral about, uh, you know, oh, because of, you know, I died in one shot, SP, or a skill-based damage is the thing, or skill-based hit detection, blah, blah, blah. And so I wanted to kind of put that stuff to a rest as well. And what better resource to ask than ChatGPT? So I says to them, I says, does skill based damage exist in Call of Duty? And they go, as of my last knowledge update in September 2021, again, I don't know what happened September 21. Was there some kind of like patent release or something? I don't know. Some kind of detailed drop or leak about Activision's matchmaking stuff? I don't know. Maybe we'll see. They go, skill based damage is not a standard feature in Call of Duty games. Typically, Call of Duty games use a standardized damage model where the damage dealt by weapons is based on factors like weapon statistics, range, and hit location on an opponent. Example, headshots typically deal more damage than body shots. These games generally do not alter the damage dealt based on a player's skill or performance in a match. And that's kind of where I uh, agree, right? I as much as I would love to join the conspiracy bandwagon here, skill-based damage is, like, do you know how hard that would be to implement, right? Say my friend has a 3 KD and I have like a 0.5 KD. 
honestly not straying far from reality but let's just say that's the case right uh do you know how hard it would be to implement like you think there's some dude at, at activision or something like monitoring every single game and seeing that i have like a 0.5 kd and just like r like cranking like a bar or like turning a a knot a knob or something like that and just being like okay we got to make sure his this guy's bullets da do more damage when he shoots like do you know how hard that would be like i feel like maybe maybe in some like single player game or even a co-op thing like in call of duty maybe that's po like potentially possible but you know you know how like easily detectable that would be like people would think you're cheating you know what i mean like especially good players like pro players who play this game every single day they know that you know if i get shot three times in the chest i'm dead if i get shot twice in the head i'm dead you know that if they got shot like once in the chest they'd be like what the heck something's up you know what i mean like they could tell and i'm not saying like everybody's a pro player but a lot of the good players out there can probably tell if you're, you know, someone's manipulating their damage, someone's manipulating, uh, you know, how much their weapon is doing to someone, right? Like, it's not that hard to tell. The second paragraph here says, however, game mechanics can change from Call of Duty, one Call of Duty to another, and developers may introduce new features or experimental game modes. If skill-based damage or a similar mechanic has been introduced in a more recent COD title after my last update in 2021, I'd recommend checking the official patch notes, blah, 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 yeah, yeah basically saying like oh just in case something changed go go check out something else uh i like i don't think skill based damage is is a thing i'm just gonna put it out there according to chat gpt it, it's not a standard feature so you know <laughs> maybe maybe it's not a standard feature maybe it's like a rare feature like sometimes they use it again in like p uh pve or something like that but against actual people against actual opponents i highly doubt it you know all these things all these like clips and youtube videos about it like guys it's i think it's just for clicks and i, I don't blame them you know get get your bag on youtube you know it's it's it ain't easy out here <laughs> there's a lot of competition there's a lot of you know different you know people to, to like to watch and watch streamers of and watch youtube videos of so i get it you know get your views get your bag but if you firmly believe a skill based damage is in the game no it's it's not i'm sorry skill based matchmaking however 100 percent in the game you can feel it and you know it's a fact you can reverse boost you can easily manipulate it i know i see people using like net dumas and stuff like that people just like seriously manipulating their lobby experience to just benefit themselves because why wouldn't you at this point uh it's not like call of duty is going to help you find a better lobby so you might as well do it yourself yeah man that's my thoughts on this you know i i was just curious wanted to talk to chat gpt and uh yeah, let me know your thoughts on this. Do you, do, do you like disagree, right? Like, I think everyone can agree that SPMM is in the game. Whether you agree SPMM is good or bad, that's, you know, kind of a hot topic, I guess. But skill based damage, do you think that's in the game? You know, do you have any clips for me? You want to tweet me at Twitter or something like that? Let me know. Oh, hey, because of this clip, I'm for sure it's in the game. You know, just, you know, let me know. Feel free to let me know and follow me on Twitter while you're down there. But yeah, that's it for the video. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you and have a great rest of the day. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Like I said, close to 10K. Appreciate the hell out of you if you did. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great one and peace.